Hey there YouTube, uh, as one additional quick little video here about uh, OS X Line, as you may well be aware, uh, OS X Line is available only for download through the Mac App Store. Um, and so what does this mean if you don't have a broadband connection at home? Well, you have a couple of options. One is you can go down to any Apple retail store and simply use their uh, internet network to download it. There is no charge for doing so. Uh, in August, Apple will also be releasing um, OS X Lion on a USB drive. It'll cost, I believe, $70 and will be available from the Apple Store. Uh, the other thing you can do is once you have OS X Lion uh, download on one machine, you can actually make a boot disk uh, on a DVD for Lion. Uh, there are tons of guides out there actually already on how to do this in text form, but I figured I'd give you a uh, video form of it. So once you have Lion uh, downloaded, here's what you do. You're going to want to open up a new finder window, and uh, you're going to look for a file called install OS 10 Lion. So if you just go to Spotlight, and I'll just Put in Lion. One of the things you can now do with Spotlight if you're running Lion is you can tell it that the file name contains Lion. So I'll do that. I'll tell it search this Mac. And sure enough, there it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the icon and click show package contents. This has a folder called Contents, and in this folder, what you want to do is open up the Shared Support folder. And as you will see here, there is a file called Install ESD. What you want to do is you want to hold down the Option key and drag this onto your desktop, which I've already done. So you can see Install ESD there. Once you've done that, go ahead and close the Finder window, and you're going to take Install ESD open uh, disk utility. What you can do is you can uh, just do that in Spotlight with uh, command space to open Spotlight. Just type in disk and it'll show up. Once it's open, uh, this is what it'll look like. Well, it's burning a disk right now, so as you can see I've already dragged install ESD into disk utility. Simply just uh, click and drag it into uh, disk utility. It'll show a little plus sign and it'll go in here. Once you've done that, click on it, click the burn button, put in a DVD, it must be at least uh, 4 gigs, um, I recommend a 5 gig DVD if you have one, uh, in the rare case that you do, since most DVDs are 4, you will need 3.74 GB, once you've done that, hit burn, it'll go through this whole shebang, your DVD drive will make a bunch of noise, that's probably what you hear in the background. It'll burn the disk. Once it's done, it'll verify it, spit it out, and you will be good to go with your own homemade line install disk. That's it.